Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, the Lord has been speaking, you know, so often lately to me and about so many things, um, but so many of them are, you know, about the same thing. And um, so I feel like he's wanting me to share. Um, and I got confirmation of that by a dream that I had last evening that, you know, goes along with the same kind of, I guess you would say, theme that the Lord has been speaking and um, just directing me towards different uh, verses and um, scripture and things like that about this, this same subject. So if you will bear with me, <laughs> um, you know, of course, I have much limited, much more limited knowledge than the Lord. And so I'm just trying to sort of keep up with what he's um, trying to show and, and tell and teach, um, through me, I guess. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the dream I had last night. And, um, it was really interesting because let me start by saying that in a lot of my dreams, I am holding a baby boy, like on my hip, you know, like young toddler age. Um, and for the longest time, I just always thought, well, that's my youngest son, who, of course, now is not a baby. He's a teenager, but <laughs> he's still my baby. But um, for the longest time, I just always thought those dreams were all only about him. And I, and I know a lot of them were. But I have come to realize um, through other dreams I've had where I actually uh, am representing Israel in some of these dreams. And I have not shared those dreams specifically, um, as of yet, um, but the Lord showed me a connection to this with the fact that, um, the year I was born and my age, um, sort of mirror Israel, and let me explain. So, I was born in 1972, and that makes me 48 years old, um, and as you know, Israel became a nation again in 1948, and so now they are 72. So there's kind of a mirror. Um, the Lord actually even showed me a, a vision, in, you know, a closed eye vision once where I could see the numbers 1948. You know, almost like the numbers you see sometimes on houses, like address signs. Um, but the 48 was the numbers were mirrors, you know, like, I don't know if you're, I'm explaining that very well, but it was like a mirror to me. And I just took that to confirm what I had been thinking that, um, these dreams represent, you know, sort of a mirror image and that I represent Israel in some of these dreams. So I hope that made sense. I'm just trying to preface this dream with that because, um, in this dream, I believe I again represented Israel, um, and so, again, I had the baby on my hip, the baby boy, and, um, you know, so the next scene in the dream was that the baby was gone, and I was looking for him, so I walked outside of this house. Um, it was just a small, like, one-story house that almost reminded you of, you know, like a a house you would see in Bible times, you know, if you've seen those movies about Jesus and the disciples and that kind of thing. Um, it was a house kind of like that. And I walked outside and next to the house was like a garden. And, um, you know, it, it kind of reminded me of a, um, vineyard in a way, but just a very small vineyard. Um, but there was, I did see the baby, um, you know, sort of in the intertwine you know, well in the rows of fruit um I, I guess you could say grapes I don't remember specifically seeing grapes but I know I saw vines you know like um how you see in entangled grape vines that kind of thing low to the ground um and so he was sitting there and as I was walking out towards this garden or vineyard um 
then suddenly a harvester, like you see in this picture, was coming towards me. And um, it was very similar to this, this harvester. Um, and the way this picture was actually labeled in online when I looked it up, I looked up um, harvester, grape harvester, and this came up. So I think this is actually a vineyard. Um, so this was really interesting to me because I'd never really looked into, you know, what a grape harvesting, you know, tractor would look like, but that's what was in my dream. And it was really similar to this. Um, so as it got closer to me, I realized that the driver in the harvester um, was holding the baby boy. Um, and so, you know, as I've been praying about this dream, um, the Lord, I believe, is showing me that I was representing Israel and the, the male child um, is what is referred to in Revelation 12, where the male child is caught up. And this is just the only, you know, picture I could find online. But, um, so, I believe it might be a representation of what's about to occur as far as the harvest um, and the male child being caught up, which is the church, um, before the grape harvest. So, you know, I really love this picture um, because, of course, you can see how she would represent Israel in this um, as the mother, you know, of the child being born in Revelation 12. So, um, I'm just going to read a couple of verses. Uh, the first one's in John chapter 15, verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. So, again, I believe the harvester was the Lord, and um, in the dream, Israel was searching for the church um, that had disappeared out of the world. You know, I think normally houses and dreams represent the world. Um, and so she was looking for the male child in the house. Of course, the church is gone. So she, you know, then goes outside and I can't 100% explain the baby in the vineyard except that maybe um, it represents maybe the church, you know, as a witness before we're gone. I believe the harvesting vehicle, you know, and the harvester coming towards Israel or the woman in my dream, which was me, with the baby represents um, the second coming um, after the tribulation, where then we are all united as one. Um, I hope I'm making sense. I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> so... Let me read one more verse, which is in Isaiah chapter 5, and it is verse 4. I'm going to read 4, 6, and 7. What more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Why then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? I'm going to skip down to 6. I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned or dug. But there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain on it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah are his pleasant plant. He looked for justice, but behold, oppression. For righteousness, but behold, weeping. And so, you know, I think that is the um, foreshadow of the tribulation. Um... And then let me just share some words that I heard um, twice uh, during the night. You know, as I would wake up, I would hear I would hear these words, and it happened twice. Um, and what it was was the golden calf. Okay, and I know I mentioned this on one of my recent videos about the Day of Atonement. And um, 
so as I was looking into this, um, you know, and what it really represents, um, one explanation I found actually said that it represents the supreme act of apostasy or rejection of a faith once confessed. Um, and that's what the golden calf represents. So, um, you know, that ties in as well to the stream as far as um, the tribulation occurring after the male child is caught up and then Israel, you know, looks for the church. The church is gone. Um, and then there's the time of the tribulation when Israel gets atonement for sin, just as when they sinned by the act of apostasy of worshiping the calf. So I just feel this is something that the Lord is speaking because we're so close. Um, you know, Pentecost is known as the time of the wheat harvest, and I believe that is when the church will leave. That's when um, the rapture will occur. And um, I don't know an exact date. You know, I do know a date that people are looking at that's very possible, and it's very soon. And it's before September. September, of course, like I talked about in the other video, is... Um, the Day of Atonement is September 28th. Um, and the day I heard those words from the Lord was exactly 79 days before the Day of Atonement. When I looked up 79 in Strong's Concordance, it actually means wrestle. And, you know, that's, you know, another allusion to Jacob wrestling with God and um, I think another foreshadow of the tribulation. So, these things just are all tying in and I couldn't help but come back on today and share. So, um, I hope it made sense. I hope you all are blessed. Keep looking up because, um, Jesus is coming. <laughs> Jesus is coming soon. Um, you know, I will keep sharing as I feel led and as I hear from the Lord. Um, you know, so many brothers and sisters are, are getting similar words. So, um, I feel that this is an urgent time for us to share with those who are lost and um, our prayers are with all of those who are lost and need the Lord right now. So thank you all for listening and um, thank you also to my new subscribers. I know I have a few um, and I am just really thankful for those of you who have sh encouraged me with such kind words. It's really been a blessing. So um, God bless you all and talk soon.